Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Since it's raining outside today, I decided to do an inside tutorial on preventing that dreaded blossom end rot on tomatoes. But first, we'll need some volunteers. I volunteer as tribute! Gather up some eggshells, about two dozen will be okay. Make sure that they are dried out thoroughly to kill the salmonella bacteria. Do not use fresh eggshells, these have been drying in the sun for about a week now. One eternity later. Put on some gloves as we'll be crushing the eggshells by hand, or you can use a blender to pulverize the eggshells easier. Fine. I'll do it myself. We'll want to crush the eggshells until they are mostly pulverized, the finer the better, but since we are doing this by hand, you can just crush them as small as you can. I could have sworn, there was a faster way to turn this into small pieces. Oh. Yeah, now I remember. A few moments later. Sorry about that, the camera fell down. So once you have it crushed to a finer state, we'll go ahead and mix the eggshells with some vinegar so that we can make the calcium acetate. They should be about the size of a grain of rice or smaller so that the vinegar can break down the shells easier. Grab a handful or two of the crushed eggshells and place them into an empty glass or plastic container. Now, we add about 2 to 4 tablespoons of vinegar, enough to cover all of the eggshells thoroughly so that we can get the chemical reaction to happen and release the calcium. Once they're mixed, shake the bottle or stir so that it mixes well. After a few seconds, the vinegar starts reacting to the eggshells and starts releasing calcium. We've now made tetracarbon hexahydride calcium oxide or calcium acetate as we know it. I'm gonna need a really big brain. You don't have to memorize that, but it's just good to know. After letting it sit for 30 minutes or longer if needed, we can now dilute it with water. After mixing it with a little bit of water, transfer this to a 1 gallon container or a container that's about 4 liters capacity.
Congratulations, you've just made calcium acetate that you can use for your tomatoes in order to prevent blossom and rot. You can use this formulation not only for tomatoes but other plants can benefit from this solution as well. This will help in the overall flowering phase of your plants and your plants will love you for it. They would probably hug you if they could. Oh, this is nice. I wanted to show you what blossom and rot on tomatoes looks like, so that you can identify it and correct it right away or hopefully prevent it from happening using this calcium acetate that we made. Now, I don't have any tomatoes with end rot to show you since they are all healthy, but I'll color one with a magic marker to show you where it usually occurs and it looks just like the real thing. So blossom end rot as the name suggests happens at the bottom of the fruit resulting in a blackening of the end, resulting in bad fruit. With the leftover crushed eggshells, you can sprinkle that in your garden or use it to mix more calcium acetate in the future. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching. We'll be coming out with our next video on how to propagate banana trees watch out for it and have a great day.